everybody, today we're cooking up one of my favorite go-to meatballs. It's a ginger scallion meatball. It uses very few ingredients. It's on the table in less than 20 minutes and it's delicious. Let's make this. Josh, you know I can make a good Italian meatball. It's true. This isn't it. <laughs> I got some beautiful pork yesterday from Grassroots Farm here in Savannah and some of their farm eggs. And I wanted to do a really quick, delightful, tasty. I've cooked this for like rock stars. Everybody likes this meatball. It's a fun meatball that you can do a lot with. It's only a few ingredients. It comes together very quickly. Actually, it's on your table in 20 minutes max. max. 20 minutes max. So what I have is a pound of ground pork. And to that, it's a scallion ginger meatball that we're making. But you'll think, oh, my kids aren't gonna eat those scallions. Trust me, they're gonna eat the scallions. They're gonna eat them. So I've got six scallions here that I'm gonna finally, I'm just gonna chop those up really well. And I'm gonna use, Josh, the whole scallion. The whole thing. I'm not going to throw away the whites. The white is going to go into this meatball as well. I'm excited about eating this. It's really just a few ingredients, right? Awesome. You can make this, Josh. I could. Why don't you? Why am I doing all this? <laughs> all right, I'm finally kind of getting that cut up with the six scallions. I'm going to add that into the pork. It's already ready. Okay, to that, I'm going to add what would be about two teaspoons of freshly grated ginger, but I've done this with pickled ginger before too, and I'm gonna have to do it with pickled ginger this time, because my Instacart shopper got me horseradish instead of ginger. Just like ginger. She didn't know, Angel was great. Hey, pro tip on Instacart, David Dempsey taught me this. While your Instacart person is shopping, send them a little text. Say, hey, would you mind picking me up a couple of bottles of wine? None of them ever says no. If you can send them pictures of what you're looking for with that grocery store wine, do it. But they'll do it. That's the exciting part. All right, so I'm gonna use some pickled ginger. Again, I've used pickled ginger before and I actually love it. I think it adds a really nice flavor. We're gonna finally kind of mince that pickled ginger. And it's gonna be about a tablespoon. All right, that's it on the cutting, mincing, dicing. That's how easy it is. I've got one beautiful egg that's gonna be our binder. Josh, this is gluten free. Gluten free. Yeah, gluten free. I've got a tablespoon of oil going in while I have my oil out. I'm gonna put another tablespoon out on my sheet tray. By the way, have my oven set at 450. If you're like our oven, it takes forever to get it to 450. It's tough, I've got this over here and I've got this. All right, only thing left that needs to go in there is a teaspoon of salt. And that's it. Now here's the deal with this, unlike an Italian meatball that you're kind of mixing with your hands, but it's still, you know, a little rough. We really want to get in and stir hard with this. This is actually going to change color. It's going to become much lighter in color. I found that actually a wooden bowl kind of works better because it sticks to the side of it. But I didn't have a wooden bowl clean this morning. And you're just gonna work this and keep stirring it and stirring it. If you need to get your hands in there, which I probably will, do it. We're gonna switch it. Works better in a wooden bowl. It smells really good. The ginger. Could you use powdered ginger? Sure. Do I want you to? No. See how we're like, it's, you know, you're gonna actually, whoop, you're gonna beat this probably. Three, four, <laughs> You could use a filling to fill a dumpling. Sure. Like there's a lot of uses, I'm gonna tell you about this once we get this baked. All right, I think that is lovely. Go get that. That's how simple that was. Let's make some meatballs. Josh, again, I've got my oven 
450 degrees. I put that tablespoon of oil on my sheet tray. I don't want to line this sheet tray with any parchment paper or anything like that. Our meatball size, you can make these any size. I like to keep them around a tablespoon meatball size because this is something that you can use for appetizers as well as entrees. So you want to keep it like that nice, just like a bite, right? All right, 16 meatballs come together very well. They're so moist, so juicy, and I love them. These are going in the oven, 450 degrees for eight to 10 minutes. That is it. Josh, our meatballs is done. Look at the sizzle. So the pork, they're not gonna get like crazy brown, right? That's not the idea that they are done and beautiful. Here's the fun part with these meatballs. You can do a lot with them. You can use them as just an appetizer. I mean, think about like an old school sweet and sour sauce that you can make with orange marmalade and red pepper flake and a little rice vinegar. Like yeah. mix all that up. I'm actually gonna be making an entree out of this. So Josh, I just cooked up some jasmine rice. You know I always like to spice my rice. So I'm gonna give just a little bit of a shade of lime on there, just a little bit of the zest. And let's put some meatballs on. How many are you gonna eat? Uh, four. Four meatballs, just summers. No, three looks a lot better. Three looks kind of three. I made a little bit of a quick um, kind of green curry. I'll put this recipe in the profile link too. It's super simple. It's spinach based, it's coconut milk spinach, a little bit of lime juice, and a Thai green chili paste. And it is delicious, it's fast. I put it all in the blender, blended it up, and then reheated it. So Josh, I'm just gonna give a little bit of that over the top. So how fast is that for a main dish? I mean, that is gorgeous. And here's a little food styling tip. Getting all the tips today, the what Instacart tip? tip, like get the wine. Now a little food styling tip. Don't think that you have to use an herb every time you food style. Like I love just taking, since there's spinach in that sauce, and just laying a little spinach off the top of that. Just a little spinach like gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? And yes, I always put it upside down, because the beautiful part is on the other side. There you guys go. Josh, you're gonna have some. Yeah. Definitely come over and try this. You guys, the recipe is in the profile link. It's a ginger scallion meatball. I'll also include the sauce recipe if you'd like to make it. So think about all the different things you could do. You can just put this out in a bowl with some cheese and crackers on the side. Sure. It's just a different way to do a meatball that's fast and it uses very few ingredients. And you're so hungry right now. Get it done. See you next time. You had this before many times. Meatballs, so good. So good. But so moist.